baraka zako umetuwezesha kufika mahala hapa Mungu na hata wakati wa kusikia neno lako nitakaposimama katika wanao Mungu wa Israeli naomba kutumika na wewe jinsi unavyokusudia katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na hata kuamini Amen tukae Bwana asifiwe Hallelujah God is good and all the time and that is his nature. Uh, I am well this morning and I'm delighted of my God and my Father who has gotten me this far. Yesu ameniokoa na amenibariki. Amenilisha vyema. Nashukuru Mungu kwa wakati huu ambao ametagwana akatenga nisimame mbele zenu ndio tupate kusikia neno najua Mungu atakuwa pamoja nasi kwa wale ambao ni wageni na wale ambao labda wamesahau naitwa Njoki labda Mrs. Somondi amesahau Kitago <laughs> Njoki waburu na ni nyede the Christ ni todo wako honokia I have to use my signature of my French nikaza muitikia ni Njoki Unajua mimi nasemanga ile course na kulianga ni ile nilifunzwa na shosho <laughs> ya kikuyu hiyo <laughs> ni lugha shosho alinifunza na ndio nakulianga by the way mtika na ile kodi you can actually drive from many any so i'm well this morning and i want to bring my greetings rather the greetings from my listeners some of them i said i'm coming to preach to my church today and they said salimiana thome kila siku ananitumanga in fact by assumption mchungaji kila saa ukisimama hapa wewe upia nange tu salamu za watu wa gukena nikichukua simu anasema gaidha ni athome na dimeraga huko niko gai akora huo bwana asifiwe ama ukijisikia hivyo usikii kama mungu yuko hapa si anakuanga hapa and that is why we are happy and blessed i thank god for this far i was thinking on was it on thursday i was thinking of the years that i have been this, in this church and I know you might wonder why I thought of the time that I've been in this church. It's because I came in this church actually without a child. And on that day, my firstborn hit 16 years. To Noria. Tigako abiki. Tukiwa na yule. And so I was asking, is it that time is flying so fast? I was thinking, I can actually so clearly remember the first day I came in this church. I can remember what I was dressed in. And um, as I was remembering all this, I was thanking God. So the reason is why I'm sharing this story is that I still thank God. On that day, there was a birthday in church. And it was Nicholas Mutahi's birthday. I can't remember how, how old he, he was. I can't remember how old he was. And the person who was in church, MC, was Joseph Muruaru. <laughs> And Joseph Muraru stood and said, wow, thank God to see that one. Joki Waburu came to celebrate the birthday. He didn't know that I was trying to kupenya penya kwa kanisa. So what I was wearing then is what makes me laugh today, to date. I was so heavy, nothing was fitting me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so I woke up and grabbed a khaki trouser. Nikaangalia top nikakosa. Nikaangalia top nikakosa. Ni dani tireki sati kia buru. I can remember it was a black checked shirt. Arafu kwanza age koja moko. Na safari boot. Na mimi nikakuja kanisa. Why am I saying this? It's because I can look back and truly say that God has been faithful. For the 16 years that God has blessed me with a girl and two others, I don't take it for granted. 
maybe some people might look at it and say, is that really a thing to celebrate? It's the small winnings, small wins that we celebrate. And we thank God for that. So that has been my testimony for the whole week, knowing I have been a mother for 16 years. Buana Sipiwe, and Sio Mimpeke Angu, he has also been a father for 16 years. So, Dikide Dake, you work again, accumulate that. Sijaskia Kengine Kameto Keleze, Atikakua, oh, Sjukiwa Rally Boys, oh, Sjukiwa Wapi, oh, Sjukirega, Akukemede, eh, Sijaskia. So, that has been my testimony for the whole week. Buana Sipiwe. And now getting to the word today. Thank you, Reverend, for holding brief for me in the morning. I could not preach in the first service because I was at work. And um, our theme today talks about God, our fighter. God, our fighter. He fights our battles. And when I was thinking about this word, a song came in to my heart, and I'm a pathetic singer but I can join words together and at least give a tune. Just <laughs> The Lord God, our fighter, he fights all our battles and he loses none. He wins all the battles that he decides to embark on. And as I was thinking about this message, the spirit of the Lord led me to the words of Exodus 14, 5 to 31. I know it was a lengthy uh, reading, but I wanted us to feel every, you know, what every scripture says. And kwa wakati huu, nitachanganya lugha hadi usikie neno. Kwa wakati huu, wana wa Israeli walikuwa wamemlilia Mungu na amepata kusikia. Bwana asifiwe. Amepata kusikia, amepanga vile ambavyo watakapoachiliwa huru na akatuma Musa na safari imeanzia na wameenda. Bwana asifiwe. Lakini kuna mtu ambaye Biblia inasema when the king of Egypt was told that the people had fled, Pharaoh and his officials changed their minds about the people and said, what have we done? Tumefanya nini? <laughs> and Pharaoh and his people decided to engage the man of war into war. There is no big risk, brothers and sisters. There is no big danger. Hatari bin hatari. Like engaging the man of war into war. Because you really experience him in all his colors. You truly experience him in all the angles and shapes that he can fight in. And the Bible says, well, I thank God because actually Pharaoh knew that the person he's going to fight against is a man of war. Na vile ambavyo Biblia inasema ni ya kwamba wariji tayarisha vizuri. Wariji anda vilivyo. Because they knew they are not just getting into any battle. Buwana asifiwe. And the word of the Lord says, they asked what have we done? We have released Israel from serving us. So he got his chariots ready and took his troops with him. He took his 600 of the best chariots. 600 of the best chariots. If you are to arrange 600 of the best chariots, zinaeza pangana laini hadi wapi? What is a chariot before we even go further? Todo ti furkari afuda. What is a chariot, by the way? 
For those people who watch movies, I'm sure you have seen a chariot somewhere. Ni gari zingine hapo, hizo zinakuanga zimepangwa vizuri. Tita gari ya vuda. It's close to, maybe it's close, but it is not. That is more modified. Is it? Arrange them. One, two, three, four, six hundred of them. I don't know. Of course, in Eza enda mbali sana. Mbali, mbali sana. And everybody akiziona, lazima ajue, kuna jambo ambalo linatendeka. Kuna kitu ambayo inaendelea. So Pharaoh had to make a statement that I've come out and I have come to fight. And good enough, you knew the person that is going to fight because it is God who had caused the children of Israel to come out of slavery. He really had to get ready and prepare to face them. Bwana sifiwe. And so he decided to follow after them. And they pursued them. Hadi wana wa Israeli wakafika mahali they can be able to see Pharaoh and the horses and the chariots and the horsemen and the army they chased after them and actually caught up with them. But who is this that they are engaging in battle? It is God, our fighter. He chased them as they camped by the sea beside um, Fiha Piha he wrote in front of the Balzephon. And as Pharaoh approached the Israelites, looked up, and there were Egyptians coming after them. They were so terrified. They cried. And this is where my message comes, comes in now. As Christians at time, when enemies raise against us, you really feel finished. You feel desperate. You feel zero. You feel nothing. Why am I saying this? Because these people, the children of Israel, started actually thinking of death than victory. At times, battles will be too fierce. Battles will be tough, bad, and angry, like you start thinking of losing than winning. People who are coming from slavery, they have cried unto the Lord and he has heard. The enemy has decided to pursue them until they cannot see the victory and freedom anymore. What they are seeing close to them is death. Do you know why I say that? The first thing they asked Moses, why is it that you are not See how the devil at times pushes us to the end until you see no victory. Until you see no hope. That is the very first statement that they say to Moses. The Bible says, as Pharaoh approached the Israelites, looked up and they, they, are, they and there were the Egyptians coming after them, the Israelites were terrified and cried out to the Lord for help. They said to Moses, is it because there were no graves in Egypt that you taken us away to die in the wilderness? Ni marangapi ambapo tumefikishwa mahali pa ushindi. Lakini ukiona vile vita inainuka, hawoni ushindi tena. Bwana asifiwe. People who have been, had been gotten from slavery. People who are on their way to victory. People who are on their way to the promised land. But just because they start seeing nothing else but death. Praise the name of the Lord. But I thank God because our God is truly a man of war. His God our fighter. He fights for us and he really fought this battle squarely. The Bible says, <laughs> what have you done to us by bringing us out of Egypt? Isn't this what we told you in Egypt? Leave us alone so that we may serve the Egyptians. It would have been better for us to serve in the Egyptians than die in the wilderness. How many times have you felt like you are just about to face death? On your way to victory. On your way to freedom. How many times have we felt this? But one thing I want to tell you this day and tonight. 
is that learn how to release everything to God, your fighter. To God, our fighter. Because he truly fights our battles. Bwana sifiwe. But one thing also that we have to learn, you got to learn how to let God fight the battles. Kwa sababu saa zingine tunaachilia Mungu lakini bado tumeshi tumeshika. Ni kama unataka kupiganiwa lakini bado unaona unaweza pigana. Bwana sifiwe. And that is where actually the problem comes in. <laughs> the Bible says, Moses said to these people, do not be afraid, stand firm and see the Lord's salvation that he will accomplish to you today. For the Egyptians that you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. And you must be quiet. Tumia. Bwana sifiwe. If the Lord God is going to fight for you, nyam zip up. Hello. Tika pire pire. Are you getting me? If the Lord is the one who is taking charge of your battle, can you let him be God? Hello? Bwana sifiwe. Can you let him be God? Because it is the enemies who will confess that actually these people, it is God who is fighting for them. When God decided that he's going to fight for the children of Israel, he actually brought in something between the children of Israel and the, and the, and the enemies. Biblia inasema ya kwamba, ati, when they, they could actually walk during the night and during the day. Mungu alikuja na wingu katikati. Wakati wa usiku anaoongoza katika mwangaza, upande wa adui kuna kuwa ni giza mara koma. Sasa hiyo wana wa Israeli bado wanafanya nini? Wanatembea. Wakiamka asubuhi wanafikiria watawapata tu pale pale mahali walifikishana jana jioni. Eh mara koma karon maradhi ya bile kai koradhi ya tia. Kumbe this crowd on their side it becomes the night but on the side of the children of Israel it becomes the time and they continue with their journey ha bwana asifiwe it is the high time that you learn how to release your battles unto the lord and when god takes charge of your battles don't interfere bwana asifiwe wakafika mahali ni kama wafikie biblia inasema ya kwamba The Lord made them, you know, made the, the wheels of their vehicle so heavy. That is all the, what the Bible says. Na Mungu pia alikuwa anatoa zile miguu za zile gari zao. Hadi adui akasimama akafika mahali akasema, "Let us not pursue these people anymore. It is their God who is fighting for them." May you get to a point where your enemies say that it is your God who is fighting for you. Todo gomania to edi yevu ya muno. Bwana sifiwe. We are living in some closets of fear. We are living in some two bottles of fear. We are daily guo ya doke garo rani saitani ni uri akuhurire na guo ya. Bwana sifiwe. Let me tell you something. This is a personal revelation. If you decide to engage me as becoming my enemy, myself, this is personal now. I don't care what my God does to you. If he comes fighting for me ni haku. Hello. And that is why I'm saying as Christians we got to learn to let God take full charge. Kama kuna mtu anakuchokoza kusema ukweli, mbona wale muda umeona kuumwa kwa kurume? Oh kuna umire na gima yake. Okay kurume. Leo tulie marurire regai. Ule gai yagweka na ake tikibira waku. Bwana asifiwe. Hello. Eh mwana ni dikuwe kwa mweke huo. Eh gai dikuwe kwa. He na na gide dokora metone we. Oke kare kare ya gai. And that is why I say this is personal. You engage with me into some kind of battle. I get you to my God. <laughs> Whatever he does to you is none of my business. Niko bukire huko mutugate. Whatever he does to you is none of my business. Ukiachilia Mungu akupiganie vita wa Kristo brothers and sisters I plead with you let God take full charge The enemies had a conversation amongst themselves and they said by the way how are what you think it is my bible that says that maybe someone else can read but I'll still read mine The bible says <laughs> on verse 24 because I really, I'm really, I'm going to skip so, so many verses during the morning Watch 
the Lord looked down to the Egyptians' forces from the pillar of the fire. <laughs> so this pillar of fire and this cloud, it is not empty. God is in it. <laughs> Himself, he was in that pillar of fire. He was in that cloud. And in the morning, Mungu <laughs> akachungulia. And the Bible says, during the morning watch, the Lord looked down to the Egyptians' forces from the pillar of fire and cloud and drew the Egyptian forces into confusion. The Lord threw the Egyptians into confusion. The Egyptian forces into confusion. It is okay. It is godly. It is holy and righteous to send confusion into the camp of your enemies. Mamutira you wagi koyogi nyage dogo mudi gutiro dumura anita. Kani kodi kera. Do you know kodi ya? Dakura it okay wakivadi. It is okay. It is right. It is perfect to send confusion. Into the, camp, into the enemy's camp. The first person to do that was God himself. <laughs> Not anyone. The very first person to do that was God. That is what he did. He sent confusion into the camp of the Israelites' enemies, the Egyptians. That is what the Bible says. Can I have a and it is not bad. You are still born again. You are still saved. You are still going to heaven by faith. Yes. If you set confusion into that enemy's camp, why you put that? Why, why, why would someone wake up one morning and decide to make themselves your enemy? You got nothing to do with that. They chose. They chose. Eh? They chose it. See, they chose. You choose to become my enemy. I tell God, fight this out for me. And he sends confusion into your enemy, into your camp. Then I start fasting and interceding for you. Sorry. And maybe so many prayers at times we are praying in the church and many prayer setups of people who are having battles in their lives. They are battles that they cost to themselves. Because they decided to become enemies to people who know how to call upon their God. And when they call upon their God, their God, the first thing he does is sending confusion into their camp. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you joining my dots? Yes. Yeah. Some people you see experiencing confusion in their lives and some funny battles from nowhere, they made themselves enemies to people who can call upon God. And their God answers. And he sends confusion into their camp. Hello? Because when God decides to be a fighter... He's, when he is called upon as a fighter, he comes in and see as he has been called. If you are a, you are a, a, a man in this church today, and a particular man somewhere in business decides to make themselves your enemy by fighting you in business or in any other area, you call upon your God who is a fighter and he decides to come down. Then they start seeing funny issues happening into their li life and confusion. It is none of your business. Sometimes when you see people living like they are confused today, from now henceforth, just think before you talk to them. They might be an answered, someone's answered prayer. <laughs> Yes. God, our fighter. You cross someone's line, they decide to call upon their God 
God who fights my battles come. And he sends confusion. In the morning, watu wengine utaona tu wameamka kama wamechanganyikiwa. Siku haina mpango, siku mzima. Labda kuna mtu ameomba amejibiwa maombi. Hebu angalie mwenzako na attitude hivi. Aros mwambie kitu. Mwangalie tu hivyo. Yeah. Yeah. Ndona mudu mtu kani ndo tokoni mao ya mamudu. Otana muba moko. Angalia vizuri. God sent confusion into the enemy's camp. And the Bible says <laughs> He caused their chariots wheels to swerve and made them drive with difficulty. And they said, let's get away from Israel. <laughs> the Egyptians said, because the Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. The Lord himself is fighting for them against Egypt. How are watu to attend na wao? Hata sio nguvu yao inawasaidia. Mungu wao ndiye anawapigania. Na sasa kama Mungu wao ndiye anawapigania, who are we? Praise the name of the Lord. <laughs> Who are we? May the Lord cause your enemies to get to a point of confession. We are not bothered by this sister, this brother anymore. Huyu ni Mungu wake anampigania. Bwana asifiwe. Huyu ni Mungu wake anampigania. And the Lord commanded Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea and the water may come back on the Egyptians. Eh na yeye Mungu akiitwa kwa vita na yeye haki haki ya Bwana. Ni dera goi. Donagio. Ni kama haonya shangwi. You know when I see this myself as njoki, I really pray to God, help me never to cross on a line of anyone who can call upon God because of me. Dukanareke ginya hado gai derie mudo. It will, not be, it, will, it will not be nice. It will not be nice. Why am I feeling this word into my nerves? Because I know there are so many people who are sick and tired of created battles in their lives. In very sensitive areas of their lives. People who can never sit peacefully, peacefully in their places of work. Because there is someone who has, you know decided that they're going to live in trouble forever. There are some people who cannot spend you know, peaceful nights because somebody just decided one day, one time uyu mama hata wa ilala kwa amani uyu mze hata wa ilala kwa amani sababu ya watoto, sababu ya mze sababu ya bibi, sababu ya biashara siju sababu ya nini. That is why I'm feeling this word into my nerves. Somebody just decided, like Pharaoh did. Unajua ni kupanga alipanga Aliamua hawa nitafukuzana na wao hadi ni wafikie. And that is why he got them into a place of feeling desperate. He got them into a place of feeling we are, we are, we are, we are better dead. Why would you get someone to that point? Or where do you think blood pressures and depressions and stresses are coming from? Because someone sat and decided nitakuchokoza I will either snatch your husband or your wife or I mess up your children you will never have a peaceful night. Someone decided I'll mess you up in that place of work I'll mess you up in that business you will never have a peaceful night. Just like Pharaoh decided they sat and agreed someone also sat and decided your family haitaka kwa amani yani gai mole amura adora ma Someone just decided Somebody just decided that that man will never drive that car of his at peace. You know people have some very petty malices. Kamalis kawa na kauli mo na gaga kuagi the other I usually sit in a studio every morning and I hear so many things. And if you square down to it, it's somebody who sat and decided somebody who sat and decided and today we have to call them out by names in the name of Jesus. We have to do housekeeping in the name of Jesus. 
Bwana asifiwe. Yeah. People come in church wamevunjika roho, wamevunjika moyo, wamejikunja tu. Tunaambiwa tusifu Bwana hata haezi. Ara una mukina kali huo niki kiramu tanga. Niulia dhoshia baralile thine wa mutulire wake. Mudushio dali thayo because somebody sat and decided. Today we have also sat and decided that we're going to come out of it in the name of Jesus. Hello. Bwana asifiwe. We have also decided in Dome PCA church plus the people who are following us online that these enemies today higher in the name of Jesus like the word says we shall never see them again. That is what Moses told the children of Israel. Be still and see the salvation of the Lord. The enemies, the Egyptians that you see today, you shall never see them again. And from that point, God, God came down as a fighting God, as a man of war. Hapo ndipo vita ilianzia. Hapo ndipo vita ilianzia. Na Biblia inasema ya kwamba, Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. And there was, you know, way to go through. Kuka patikana njia ya kupitia. Na wakati kulipatikana njia ya kupitia, wakapita vizuri, wakapita vizuri. And when the Egyptians were trying to escape from it, the Lord threw them into the sea. The water came back and covered the chariots and horsemen plus the entire army of Pharaoh that had gone after them into the sea. Not even one, not even one survived. Remember there were 600 chariots. How many people per chariot? There were many. Not even one. When we call upon our God as a God who fights our battles, he will truly come down and he will fight these battles for us. Sio wakati wakulia tena. Sio wakati wakuona mimi siwezi ingia kwa ushindi. Ile kitu imenikaribia sana ni kaburi. Ile kitu imenikaribia sana ni kifo. Simply because though ni atua, ni kukwedelia guwea. Hello? Bwana asifiwe. For me, my take home today, mungu wa nisaidie sana. That I may never step on a lane. Ya modo getagai. Agoretagai wabara. Because we have all heard what it is that the Lord God can do. And it is the high time that we woke up as Christians and get to know that our God is a fighter. Testimony. Hello? Na hedio muda wiki tika arali hitho. Eh? Kana akara gara ini aku. Nyeni toko nana na gwer tuli maru goere. <laughs> Odie matuine na odo agu itekia. When I call upon my God, he decides to fight you. It is none of my business what he decides to do. People ha wamechukua wa kristo kwa u. You know, urahisi sana for granted. Ewe wa giro di. Logi wogu. <laughs> We were PCMF. We can't go to the Amaruni. I was the same. I vo at on as a sukumwa, quashamba, and a duguzako sukumwe, kidogo, no sukumwe to sukumwe. Todo we were PCMF. How fai kuonge? Kuonge. And they make you feel so valueless, so worthless, so useless. Like the children of Israel, the closest you can see is a grave. Buana si fiwe. Pale karibu sana unaona ni kaburi. That one we say no in the name of Jesus. The, clo the, the, the best thing you can compare yourself with is a grave. That is the level to which the enemies has gotten the children of Israel. But I thank God. He came down as the Lord God who fights our battles. And he got them out victoriously. When the Lord said that the Egyptians you see today, you will never see them again. The word confirms that none of them survived. So true to his word that they never saw them again in their lives. May God help us. Help us know how to call upon him. When we are pressed hard by the issues of life. When we are hard crushed by people who are surrounding us. And thinking that we do not have the capacity to fight. We do not have the 600 chariots. We do not have the soldiers. Our God 
is enough. He is the fighter. He is the one who fights our battles. Bwana sifiwe. And as I conclude, because I know we don't have much time, the Bible says in Romans 8, 31 and 32, if you think that is too much to ask for, if you think seeking victory and God fighting for you is too much to ask for, the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 31 and 32, what then are we to say about these things? Hello? Connect this line to where we are coming from. To the things of enemies deciding they are following up after you. They are catching up, up after you. They think it was not right for you to gain freedom and all that. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? If God is for us, who who is against us? You close your eyes and imagine <laughs> of all the people who raise battles, who raise issues in your lives, and just get to know that if the Lord is for you, nobody qualifies. Nobody qualifies to be against you. All you need to Confirm. All you need to know, all the assurance that you need is to know that God is for you. And this is what Moses got to know. That is why he confidently talked to the children of Israel and told them, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see them again. If God is for you, who then can be against you? The Bible says, if God is for us, who is against us. He did not even spare his own son, but over offered him up for us all. How will he not also with him grant us everything, including victory, including peace, including joy, including happiness, including victory in any battle that raises in our lives in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I request we stand and pray. Jesu ne guada ta moroi bara monena bara shia koashione uru ago kahotana Jesu ne guada ta moroi bara monena bara shia koashione Yes, Lord God, we love you. Thank you, Jesus, for such a powerful teaching, Lord. Thank you for reminding us, Jehovah God, we need not to be cowed, O oh God. We need not to be scared, O oh dear Father. You are our God, our fighter. You are God, our fighter of all our battles, dear Lord. In our places of work, God, we shall not be intimidated, Jehovah. In our dwellings, dear Father, we shall not be intimidated, O oh Lord. Simply because we are Christians and we believe in you and we cannot fight for ourselves, Jehovah, we shall not be intimidated, O oh God. Come down, Jehovah God, and take over in the battles of our lives, O oh dear Lord, because you are faithful and you are loving. Thank you, Jehovah God, <laughs> because we have evidently seen it in the lives of the children of Israel. King of all glory, they were intimidated to a point of feeling they are better of death than nothing else, Jehovah. They were better of in the graves than anything else, oh dear Father. But you spoke to Moses and told him, speak, talk to the children of Israel. Tell them to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. The Egyptians they see today, they shall never... Be they shall never see them again. My God and my Father. In our lives, there are Egyptians who have elevated, who have raised against us, oh dear Father. We fear every morning, we fear every evening. In our places of work, in our marriages, in the lives of our children, oh dear Father. We fear who is this will give them drugs anytime. We are intimidated, oh God. But we come to you, dear Father, with courage and confidence, Jehovah. That when you take over our battles, dear Lord, the Egyptians who have been intimidating us, dear Lord, we shall never see them again in the name of Jesus.
King of all glory, we want to put our trust in you. Jehovah God, we pray that you may take over our battles, dear Lord. Like you did in the lives of the children of Israel. And they got to a place of rest. King of all glory, fight our battles. Jehovah God, once again in our families. Once again in our marriages. Women and men who are in this church, dear Father. Feeling intimidated by different issues of life, dear Father. Because of their children, in their business, Jehovah. In their extended families, dear Lord. They have been oppressed. They can do nothing much. Take over their battles, oh dear Lord. And let them have a testimony, dear Father. Like you gave to the children of Israel. The Bible says in the book of Romans, if you are for us, who then can be against us? Your word, word reminds us, oh dear Father, nobody, nobody qualifies. <laughs> nobody is strong enough. <laughs> nobody is powerful enough to be against us in the name of Jesus. We take your word as it is. <laughs> we grab it as it is, oh dear Father. And you shall help us overcome over our battles. We bless your name, Lord. We worship you. And we honor you. For it is in Jesus' holy name that we do pray and believe. Amen. amen and amen.